Robbie, you're realize missing... Yeah, 20 Neil, years Neil. after we landed on the moon. OK, but let me challenge you on that. Again, I, I just think you're missing one very, very important factor in this. Musk is not only the richest man in the history of planet Earth and going to get exponentially richer, by the way. He's already made $100 billion since Trump was elected, just from Tesla stock, right? Um, but also, he talked me through the Optimus robot, humanoid robots. And he said, everyone's going to have one. They're 20 grand a pop. And he's going to be, he said, my, my wealth at the moment will be completely dwarfed. I suspect he's right. Uh, I'm going to buy about five myself. I'm going to do all my chores. Um, so he's got all this stuff going on, right? So he's going to be staggeringly, staggeringly rich. And he's got access to other staggeringly rich people. So the money part of it, coupled with his ambition, which is enormous, because I've heard him articulate it, in, in person. It was incredibly inspiring and impressive. But he's also an engineer. I mean, this is not just some rich guy playing with a few toys. Try, you know, uh, Musk, from the age of, like, 10, has been doing data code writing and so on. He is a proper engineer to his bootstraps. And it's, to me, it's the combination of a big dreamer who's a very brilliant engineer, plus the money to do this stuff, makes me think, well, why, why couldn't he do it? Why can't he be the guy that does this? I, I thought I was clearer than I guess I was. I'm not saying he can't do it. Mm. If he does it, it's not a business project. It's a, it's a vanity project.